Hey guys, let me tell you about Code School. So far, I like it very much. Um, they have like free tutorials and they have paid. I think the paid's worth it because it's only like twenty nine dollars, which is a dollar a day. And then my um, sponsor link is below, so please um, do it. So I'll give you an example. Basically, um, this is one of their free tutorials or like an entire class. This is railsforzombies.org, and this is like basically its video. Down your brains and your Rails for zombies. This is this is their stuff. They do a video thing. First of all, and then secondly, you just play the game or just learn. All right. There, I beat it. Um, this is a console. Um, like uh, in Ruby. See, this is um, I have Ruby installed on my um system, so I'm trying to learn Ruby on Rails, and this is uh Ruby on Rails. Another big thing about programming is it, it's a growing industry and then you can cre either create your own app or other things it's growing uh, I think a very popular language right now is probably um, Java Java is everything they have like they have like three few courses and then they have like the paid it's pretty cool they have jQuery they teach you jQuery and then they um, teach you more jQuery and then these are other forks of uh, Java. Um, it's pretty cool. It's only a dollar a day. It's cheaper than uh, actually going to other places, like other places. Um, let's see. Why the Java script class? This is, I think it's like two grand for these guys. I'm just saying it's only like a dollar a day and then you can probably quit any time. Um let me do a second one. Uh, see that makes it disappear. A lot, a lot of console commands. I'll teach you commands right now. You can use help and then you can use clear to clear the console. And what was this? Zombie database, don't use IDs. Find the last zombie. Z last. Who finds the last zombie? Evidently, I don't know this language very well, do I? Okay, I'm gonna look for the answer. Zombie last. I beat it. Or it's zombie last. That does not work. Yeah, zombie last. Um, they go over. Um, this is um, this tutorial is the. What is it? Crude. Yeah, crude. Crude is basically create, read, update. And delete. Um, this is like their database tutorial, and I'm doing it. And this is just a quick little review of their stuff. I think it's pretty cool. The graphics are nice. The animation, the video is really good. Um, it's really helpful. Um, you could always use like uh, W3. Like uh, Ruby's syntax dictionary. And there's always GitHub, and then there are people who have like GitHub, Ruby. And then they have tutorials on here, I think. 
just say documentation maybe version try maybe maybe make coins stuff like that I'm just rambling puts is like basically their print so returns a print let me try this See, it prints out put, and then you can also do math. One plus one puts one times two. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, will I choose this over Python? Uh, probably. I'm still learning the language. You see here, cause I'm really, I'm still new to it, but I still have, I have a some understanding of SQL. So yeah. Rails is like the stack. It's like uh, command console, which is like uh, how do we say, you know, the black and white. This is command line, the black and white. Um, there's like ways to make directory like that, make directory, and then you got copy. You can deploy through the SSH where you connect it through Linux or Unix. And then you just copy your uh, entire website to that commands. Yeah, this is one of them. And then af and then another one is the actual files and folders. And then there's uh, the Apache server or whatever web server. And then there's the database server. And that's about it. And then it's like all the languages are together. Um, I can go, not this. They're probably hiding it. Like basically, it, it'll be like a lot of uh, JavaScript libraries, a lot of libraries. These are links, but this is not what it really looks like. This is um, the after build. I'm not sure what script this is probably built on. It's probably built on, uh, I don't know, probably Ruby. Um, there's like a lot. Uh, what else? MVCs for web applications. There's ASP.NET, which is Microsoft. So it's a like controller model view, is like user action update. So this is like the front end. Back end would be like what the web pages are coded for. See, there's like Cake PHP, Code Edition, Rails, and uh, it's model view controller. So a controller manages the user's requests, receives the HTTP GET or POST request when the user clicks the GUI element to perform actions. So it's basically controller is like uh, it's like the server end, it's like the command line, and then you like type in something, you get something you, like put, or you, you like go print, hello, oh, oh, won't print, sorry. Hello. Put for module. Those puts. Or like this. That didn't work. Uh, let's try puts. It's puts, it's not put. Sorry. Hello. And this comes out. Um. Yeah, you should use, um, please use my link below, because uh, I just lost my job, so please, uh, yeah, help me out with the sponsors and stuff. Like, just sign up below, because it's only a dollar a day for uh, this thing. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.